Just over there guys, um, that's one of the other original homesteads, so that one's still standing, but anyway, just here is an old bottle dump, what I was talking about, probably dates back probably to the 1930s onwards. So I just thought I'd come out here and do a quick rake, see what we can find. Um, I have found a couple of nice bottles here before, but as you can see here, I haven't even touched that patch. So, yeah, we'll do a bit of a rake and we'll hopefully we'll find a couple of nice bottles. Just an old wine bottle, that one. So it's a good sign because they're buried under here. Here's a nice one. Beautiful. Never seen one like this one before, guys. It's a beautiful old Richmond Tiger one. If you're watching this, Chris, that weird fat bloke, just found another one, mate. This is one of his favourite brands. But this is absolutely beautiful. I'll show you in a minute, guys. And I don't know if I said I haven't got one of these, so that's awesome. Basically, I'm just looking for embossed beer bottles. And there's shitloads in here. Oh, that's a nice one. No embossing. Oh, yes, another one. Another rich one, one, guys. G'day guys, it's Billy here. Uh, a few days later, I'm just going for a bit of a drive around this old salt pan. And looking for bottles and relics and so forth. But anyway, I've come across a few old bottles here. Unfortunately, I've lost the smashed. I've never seen this one before, Watson's number 10 whiskey. Might take that anyway, it's a nice bottle. It's a nice one here, common. This one, that's very common, a Pex. It's a nice jar. Yeah, there's a nice one just here. I don't know what this is, it's a, a nice update from the back. These are very common, but it's unusual to see them that colour. So that would be from the sun, I reckon. Turn that beautiful colour from the sun. So, I might as well take it. Might be and just down here, fellas. Looks like to be the remains of an old horse saddle or something. Nice buckle there. Take that. Just down here, I picked it up. Has got a bossing on it. Probably a... I don't know, I've never seen that one either. Possibly. Let's go to show you guys, I've driven about probably 50 metres and I wasn't going to but I'm bloody glad I did now because just now there's a heap of nice old bottles and I haven't had a look yet so I reckon there's going to be some good ones. So okay we'll guys, beautiful old green Holbrook looks like. That's nice, so I'll take a photo of it here. This is very common guys but it's beautiful, nice, thick, heavy embossing right there so I'll definitely grab that one. And there's more 
around just over here. That's all. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful. Look at the colour. That is absolutely beautiful, guys. Oh, nice. Beautiful blue. It's got some motion. So, oh, that one's nice too. The little one. You can just see how old it is by the top of the bottle there. There's more over there guys. Oh this is a nice one, nice old pin folds. Beautiful, we'll take that. Just here. Comment. Nice beer bottle, is it embossed? Yup. Yeah. Beautiful that one, I'll take this that. Here would have been a nice one, but it's broken. I bet you it's embossed too. No, but it's very, very old. Anyway, look at this one, guys. It's not embossed, but that's a nice old bottle. Oh, there's a nice Perth glass work through, I think, or a pickaxe. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Beautiful, nice old pickaxe beer bottle. Awesome. There's no one just. Oh, there. look at this one, fellas. This looks absolutely beautiful. I've never seen one like this one before. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's beautiful. No embossing, guys, but that is an absolutely beautiful bottle. It has got embossing down the bottom, but no actual logo. But that's a be looks like to be a beautiful old whiskey bottle. That's beautiful. So, 1929 guys, so that's how old probably these bottles are, 1929. Yeah, that's embossed, but it's pretty faded. You just see that. Right, there's a nice there. one here. Is it going to be embossed? Hope so. No. But that's a beautiful green bottle. I'll take that one too. Awesome. It's always good to find new bottles around. Just down here fellas, another nice beer bottle. These are really quite common so they're not really worth much but still they sell so that's a, the main thing and that's a real nice heavy embossing as you can just see there. Yep, look at that, that's beautiful. That's one of my favourite designs, that one there, the West Australian beer bottle. That's a nice crew bottle too. So we'll take that one, and there's plenty more around guys, buried. Been here for quite a long time. Oh, that's a nice one. Beautiful. Another one here. No, I'll leave that one there. And this one's nice, I love that one. Look at the bossing on that, how thick that is. Oh well, guys, just for a nice glimpse of green. This is a nice old poison bottle. Probably a scrubs I reckon. But these are always good to find. Beautiful colour. Yeah, it's a, probably a old scrubs. Yup, scrubs poison. Beautiful. Love finding these ones as well. And this one here guys, what's this gonna be? Oh nice old poison take that one too. And another beautiful thick embossed oh that's beautiful nice pickaxe beer bottle that comes from South Australia fellas that's an absolutely also one of my favorite um, bottles to find and just another one down here fellas it's probably common I'll pull it up just in case In there. <coughs> nah, it's common. That's a vinegar bottle, I think. <coughs> yep. Just an old jam bottle. fellas, we'll grab this one. Yep, beautiful. Another nice heavy Holbrook & Co. Or another nice heavy embossed Holbrook & Co. bottle. Thank you. 
and here's a nice green bottle here guys oh it's not embossed but beautiful bottle we'll take it well guys just stumbled across another dump and i can see some nice bottles Oh, this beautiful one hopefully it's intact i reckon it's gonna be yes oh that is absolutely beautiful it's embossed too oh awesome what does that say burnets so pretty burnets olive oil oh that's an awesome score and this one here guys these are really hard to find around my area common but very old oh it's broken oh well we'll take it what else is here oh this one Oh shit, always away. Beautiful one. That one. That's the score of the day so far. I nearly bloody broke it just then. What's this one? Oh, nice. Oh, not broken. Oh, nice. A woods, probably. Woods peppermint cure, I reckon. Yup. Beautiful. I think that's about it guys. We'll keep looking, we'll keep on driving. Nearly took, nearly took off fellas and look at this. Right next to it, beautiful old whiskey bottle. Is it gonna be embossed? Come on. No. That's nice, but beautiful old green one. What's this one here? Common. Broken. And a couple more just nearby, guys. Vaseline. That's beautiful old ink. Oh, it's broken. What's this one? Oh, it's a Penfolds wine bottle. Pretty Another common. One. Nice heavy embossed one. So basically right now, guys, I'm just driving along this salt flat looking for bottles and they seem to be quite common. It's a nice one just here. Nice Scots emulsion. Nice broken. But we'll see if we can find any more. It's a pretty big area, so it's a good to, um, so it's good that it's sunny because the bottles are sparkling in the sun, so that makes it so much easier. Yeah. Uh, common bottle, we might as well take it. So yeah, I'll be the seller. Well, guys, just saw a sparkle of glass about 25 meters in front of me in the middle of the screen. Yeah, Go and see what it is. Oh, beautiful! Nice old pickaxe. Awesome. So obviously, this area is when it floods, all the bottles have been washed down. So we're going to go for a big long drive, guys. All around this area, find some nice sparkling bottles. Guys, it definitely pays off when you've got a good set of binoculars. Look at this one here, I saw from a distance. Beautiful blue. It's got some ocean bottle. All greeny blue, aqua blue. That's I'm going to say no to that one, guys. That is beautiful. started to, as we say, piss down with rain, and I've got to get out of here. I've just had a puncture. I've just changed so I couldn't film because it was raining. So I've got to get out of here because this place turns into a cesspit as soon as it starts raining. 
the old ute starting to slip and slide everywhere at the moment. So anyway, we'll head home. We'll just see. That's what I mean guys, I just fucking lost it. Last thing I want to do is I ran over these trees before, that's how I've got a puncher, so I can go on. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Well, this one guys, big boomer.